All right, good afternoon, Utah. Happy Friday. We made it to the end of the work week. We're here at Junior NBA. It might be a little bit hard to hear me, but there's such a, there's a lot of excitement here, and as you can see, there are a lot of kids as well. But if you're going to be coming down to downtown Salt Lake City, the weather over the next couple days looks pretty good. So we'll take up the weather graphics full screen, and not only is it going to be pretty nice weather, but it's also going to be a little bit milder compared to what we have been talking about over the last couple of days. We're already sitting at 37 degrees in Salt Lake City, 40 degrees in St. George, 23 in Cedar City. So those temperatures are at least trending in the right direction. And part of the reason why is because we now have a southerly wind that we are now getting thanks to high pressure moving away to our east. But in St. George, with that southerly flow, we're starting to see a little bit more in the way of those mid-level and high-level clouds. So that's why you see a little bit of cloudiness, but not really looking too bad down across the southwest desert. And then as we make our way back into northern Utah, those high, high cirrus clouds creating an absolutely beautiful bluebird day up at Alta. So for those daytime highs, most of, us, most of us in northern Utah will either be in the 20s and 30s, or we'll get close to 40 degrees in Cedar City, 48 degrees in St. George. Unfortunately, with the calm conditions that we have, really the only downside to that is that we're going to see more haze in our northern Utah Valley. So moderate air quality expected along the Wasatch Front, Uinta Basin, and also for Cache Valley. So while it's not it's necessarily going to be the greatest, it also isn't going to be the worst. Your All-Star Weekend forecast is an important thing for this weekend. Sunday, it's some hazy conditions, partly cloudy skies, region. looking good more or less as we go through and Saturday. We'll be quite chilly if you're heading to downtown Salt Lake City tonight as we're going to be dropping back into the lower 20s and then a slight chance early on Sunday. That's mainly for the high terrain but can't completely rule out something in our valleys. But since it's mainly going to be during the first half of the day, we'll be looking pretty good for the All-Star game Sunday night. And then we'll see a better chance of rain as we go into early next week as we'll be moving into a much more active pattern. But we'll go ahead and break that down now on the long range future cast. You can see high pressure moving away. Then a system approaching late Saturday night into Sunday. That's going to bring us that slight chance in northern Utah on Sunday. And then we got another weak system coming in on Monday. Another chance for wet weather in the northern half of the state. Maybe valley rain, mountain snow, since temperatures are going to continue on the upward trend. And hopefully the systems on Sunday and Monday can clear the inversion haze. And then going into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, forecast models extremely optimistic that we could see a pretty big storm system head our way. Most likely going to start off as valley rain and mountain snow, but could see straight snow by late Tuesday into Wednesday. And also could see some very healthy accumulations even down to our valleys if the forecast models continue to trend that way. We'll keep you posted there. As for St. George, upper 40s today to the upper 50s by Sunday, then low 60s President's Day into Tuesday. But as that cold front moves through, those daytime highs will be dropping back into the 40s on Wednesday with a chance of rain. Then along the Wasatch Front, some hazy conditions over the next couple of days. Doesn't look like it's going to get too bad. The overnight lows continue to be on the cold side, but a slight chance of rain on Sunday, a chance of mainly valley rain and mountain snow on Monday, a chance of rain and snow on Tuesday than a chance of straight snow on Wednesday. So once we get past this weekend, moving into a much more active pattern, but for here at the All-Star festivities in downtown Salt Lake City, we're looking pretty good for right now. So if you're coming down, maybe just grab a sweater, grab a jacket, but for the most part, really can't complain. We've got some pretty good weather for the All-Star festivities this weekend. Great.